Hey everyone, it's Six of War Comics here with my review for Earth 2 issue number 9. When I read issue number 8, I really enjoyed it so much that I decided to add Earth 2 to my pull list. Going into this issue, I was expecting to be a little bit lost because I haven't read issues number 1 through 7, but I wasn't entirely lost. Uh, I, I do know most of the characters, and although I don't know what is happening in this in this Earth 2 world, this issue does set it up really nicely for someone like me that didn't have any of that previous knowledge to get into and find his bearings pretty somewhat easily. It starts off with Hawk Girl talking to Khalid, I believe his this character's name is. He's been chosen by Naboo to be the Doctor Fate. And they're talking about, I guess, this impending um, war or impen uh, impending battle that's inevitably going to happen in this world and what they need to do to prepare for it and and combat it. So that is how the beginning is with Hawkgirl and uh, Kali talking. Uh, then we get into the second half of the issue. It's featuring Jay Garrick and from what I understand reading this issue, the wonders are the term they give superheroes in Earth 2 and there haven't been any wonders since I guess the original Trinity were killed off and now they've got this new crop of younger wonders popping up like uh, the Flash, Jay Garrick and Alan, Alan Scott who's the Green Lantern so uh, Garrick's gone home to let his mom know that he's okay while he's there the Atom smashes into his house and Sonya Sato has come with her crew to capture Jay Garrick. Uh, they fight a bit, and Khalid is there. He's teleported there, and he's watching everything go down. And at the last minute, he intervenes, and he saves Garrick from being captured by Sonya Sato and his crew and this Dodds character, who I don't really know much about. And he teleports them, uh, Garrick and his mother, to this magical world where they run up into Wotan. And that is where the issue ends. So this issue number nine for Earth 2, uh, I felt that it was a good issue. I really enjoyed it. And this is a start of a new story arc. This is the Tower of Fate prologue. And as I said, as a new reader, I felt that it was easy to get into and it was easy for me to follow along. I wasn't entirely confused. There were some parts where I would probably benefit more if I read issues one through seven. Really love the art. I am a big fan of Nicholas Scott, and she didn't do the art on issue number eight, but she does come back to doing the art on this one, and I just love her art. I think she just does some really good stuff, and especially the scene where Adam smashes down into the house, and that was a really nice, nice, uh, big frame there. Overall, I I enjoyed this issue. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5, and I am looking forward to reading more from Earth 2 and seeing this alternate universe from DC Comics. Um, so that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this issue. If there's any from anything in my reviews that I've gotten wrong, let me know. Um, I'm not the best with all this comic knowledge, but hopefully I'm getting better. So. Thank you for all your support and watching my videos and leaving comments and I really appreciate it and look forward to my contest video posting which I hopefully will do this weekend. Thank you and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.